Hello everyone, this is Wilson. Let's determine whether this series is convergent. And actually we did it in the other video that we show that this series is convergent by using the ordinary comparison test. And this time I want to use the limit comparison test to show that it's convergent. And how do we show it? We first need to write down the series that we need to compare with, right? So we are going to compare the series. We are going to compare the series with um, the geometric series, so that would be equal to 2 to the n over the 3 to the n. And then you may say that doesn't look like a geometric series, but if you write it in a different form, then you are going to get 2 over 3 raised to the n power. Okay, so as you can see here, so that's a geometric series with a common ratio r equal to two over three. So we know uh, we know that this series is a conversion. Geometric series because the absolute value of the common ratio is equal to, what is that? That's absolute value of two over three, that's equal to just two over three, and that's less than one. So that's why it's conversion. Okay, so um, when we're using the limit comparison test, we actually don't need to figure out whether the series is larger or uh, <clears throat> the other series is larger. All we need to do is to look at the quotient and as n approaches infinity, what the quotient is approaching to. Okay, so let's set up the limit problem here. When we set up the limit, we are going to get a complex fraction. Um, first, we are going to put this 2 to the n over 3 to the n plus 5 in the numerator, and then we are going to put the 2 to the n and over 3 to the n in the denominator. So the limit is being set up like this, 2 to the n over 3 to the n plus 5. And then all over 2 to the n over 3 to the n. So now <clears throat> to simplify this complex fraction, we are going to multiply by the reciprocal of this green fraction here. So now the series actually becomes, I mean the limit becomes 2 to the n. over three to the n plus five, and then times. Now it's reciprocal, so it becomes three to the n over two to the n. So as you can see here, the two to the n and the three to the n will get canceled, so we are going to cancel them. And then now the limit becomes 3 to the n in the numerator, so let me just keep that in the green color, so 3 to the n. And then 3 to the n plus 5. Now, as you know that when you are, um, when n is approaching infinity, then the numerator and the denominator are both approaching infinity. So this is an indeterminate form. So one way that we can do is to factor out the three to the n from the top and the bottom at the same time. So we are going to get something that looks like this. So if we factor out um, three to the n from the top, so we get three to the n. And then we are going to do the same thing to the bottom. So we factor out 3 to the n from the numerator. Then we are going to get 1 plus 5 over 3 to the n. Okay, so as you can see here, because 3 to the n is non-zero, so we can cancel them here. Right. So now when we do the canceling, then we are going to get the limit as n approaches infinity, we have 1 over 1 plus 5 over 3 to the n. 
And so you know that when n approaches infinity, then this fraction, this phi over 3 to the n, is going to be approaching 0. And so that means our limit is going to be equal to just equal to 1. Right? Because the numerator is 1, and then the denominator is 1, and then it's 1 plus 0. Right? So. Um, it's actually the denominator is approaching one and then the numerator is approaching one. So you have the whole limit approaching one. Okay. And since this, <clears throat> this one right here, this is a, so we know that this is a, what, this is a positive and a finite number. And then now we can say that both series converge or both series diverge. And since the green series right here is convergent because it's a geometric series, so now we can say that this series also converges. So right now we can write down our conclusion. So we say the series, we have the third, it's so hard to write. Okay, so the series, the one that we have been looking at, right? 3 to the n plus 5 is convergent. I think I should highlight this. I mean, I should underline this answer, right? It's convergent by limit comparison test. And so we call this the LCT. Okay, so. This problem is finished. Okay, so if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give me some support. And we'll see you next time.